This is Crimson Champ to Akane Drum. I am in pursuit. By the way, do we have to use these stupid code names? <laughs> yes, we do. Listen to this. I'm in the prefect's common room looking at the duty rotor. A whole bunch of them have been in photocopying duty in the past week. Over. Hey, that explains this much in the batch. <laughs> Looks like informants definitely the inside. What's happening there? Over. I'm still following Godfrey, but I'm not sure where he's going. Great. Remember to say over when you finish speaking. Over. Over. Happy now? Godfrey, Flynn and O'Keefe are all due to be helping Quinn right now. Over. What? You think O'Keefe and Flynn are in on the crime? Over. There's no way Godfrey could be up to something without them knowing. Over. <laughs> While Red was tailing our suspect, I decided to go through Godfrey's bag. Who have you been talking to? Nobody. What are you talking about? People know we're up to something. Who? How? Red. I've just found a bar of soap and a key in Godfrey's school bag. Over. So he likes to keep his front door key clean? Over. No. I think he used the soap to copy the key. Over. I'll copy the key to where? Over. I bet it's the key to Quinn's office. Red. Who's that? Over. It's me, Fletcher. So you finally saw Sid? Over. I'm not saying there isn't a perfectly innocent explanation, but the new test papers were delivered yesterday. Quinn will have locked them in her office. Oh, we found out. We have to deal with it. Come on. Moon, come in. Moon. Moon, if you can hear me, get out of there now. Get the key. It's in my bag. Front pocket. He's not in here. What? It has to be. Stop right there. Oh, hi. Hello. Just doing a carpet inspection. Lovely pile. Oh, look. A key. Anyway, must be off. You're coming with us. My presentation abilities, coupled to your recipe, Sharky, it's a winning combination. It's like there's a party in my mouth. These are almost as tasty as Herod's cakes. They are my cake. Good job, April. Headmistress, would you care to try one of my delicious cakes? Ooh. But they might. Good. Mmm, very good. You put in them, April. Yeah. Why don't you tell her, April? Why don't you tell her who you stole that recipe from? Stop acting the fool, boy. Jealousy. No, my cakes are in fact an old Devereux recipe. This is bang out of order. I love that icing. It's a sort of butter icing, isn't it? Very sweet, very vanilla. You must give me the recipe. Move it, pint size. You know, Godfrey, Quinn would be very disappointed if she could hear you're talking. I don't give a fig about Quinn. I'm just saying. It'd be terrible if she could hear what you're saying. And is that a copy of the key to her office? He said, shut up. Come on, guys. You go and get Quinn. Do you want to take any notice of me? You'll think of something. I'm going to find out what Godfrey's up to. Saving the best till last. Right here, mistress. Very amusing, girl. Are you ready to see my documentary? I call it Gagged. One girl's quest for facts in an uncaring world. Get ready for the truth, people. This isn't my film. He's that headed. Why is he baking? Where's my DVD? Shh. Mia, I'm trying to watch this. Turn that off. 
Turn that off now! He's putting cat food in the cakes. Oh, cat food? Oh. Yes, that's right. I baked the cakes that April is selling. Oh, that's disgusting. April Devereaux, were you selling cakes containing cat food? No, I can assure you. She did. She stole my recipe. The cat food's a family secret. It sort of takes the edge off the sweetness. You could have poisoned the whole school. A week's detention, no arguments. <sighs> Miss Deborah, you're telling me you didn't know the cakes contained cat food. Of course not. If I'd had any idea, I'd have reported him straight away. But you admit you were passing his cakes off as your own. You're disqualified from the competition. And if anyone has trouble keeping the cakes down, you'll have the responsibility of clearing it up. <laughs> miss! Miss! You have to come with me. Oh, another sharky. What have you got for me? Lemon meringue pie containing live weasels? No. <coughs> what? Gary, don't do this. No, look, like you have to come with me. It's important. Don't give a fig about Quinn. Come on, this is magic. Move in. Fine size. Guys. Get in there. Whoa! Ow! Right, get the test papers. Nigel, what are you doing? Obviously, we're helping the headmistress. They're making copies of the test papers so Godfrey can get top marks, like he's always done. That's ridiculous. I don't need to cheat. I've always been top of the class. You weren't until you realised you could cheat your way to the top. When the badge and note were posted into my locker by a mystery informant, it gave us not one, but three clues. The first being the copier toner smudge on the back of the badge. I'm in the prefect's common room looking at the duty rota. A whole bunch of them have been in photocopying duty in the past week. Over. Over. Second was the indentation. Pupil, enterprise, final. Which told us when the crime was going to be committed. Godfrey knew Quinn would be busy judging, and he had already made a copy of her office key. The third clue led me to the meeting with our mystery informant. His shoes gave him away, though. It was Tommy Flynn, whose initials just happened to be TF, as in true friends. Tommy supplied us with the exam results, which clearly showed Godfrey's extraordinary progress. And this can only be put down to one thing. He cheated. Is that true? You don't know how important it was for me to be head boy. You don't know what my family's like. All that stuff about you liking me, was that a lie too? Of course it isn't. I like you. You like me. And that's why we're not going to say anything to Quinn. Do the right thing, Hazel. I can't let you do this. I believed in the badge and in you. But you're just some loser with a lust for power. Who's Quinn going to believe? Her golden boy or a rookie prefect and her short stack brother who's friends with a sharky? Imagine her face when she sees you both in her office. Especially after you've vandalised it. O'Keefe. Crimson champ, did you get all that? Over. Hey, you bet I did. And I'm not the only one. Hello, Godfrey. I quit. I'm proud of you, Hazel. Don't make this weird. Flynn had done the right thing, and Godfrey's reign as head boy was over. Their friendship survived, though, even if sweeping up at break time was no one's idea of fun. <laughs> <laughs>